This video is for checking fault codes using the DSC software. The controller must be in the car and with the ignition on or even with the engine idling. I'll explain why that is uh, preferred later. First thing you want to do is select the vehicle type since our controller is already connected. We'll do a reset board just to make sure we have calm. That's good. The next thing we're going to do is select codes and config. Start. In the write out box, we'll enter the letter I. I for Intel. This is the command, what we refer to as I command for checking fault codes. So once we have the letter I enter in the write out box, we'll hit send. Now we have all of this data in the dialog box. So for the purpose of better viewing, we will copy and paste all of this content onto Microsoft Word, Notepad, or even an email. In this case, we'll use Notepad. Copy, paste. Okay, so this is all the content from the uh, read. The left column shows the item number. Over to the right is the description of the item. And next is one or zero. This is binary. Zero means no fault code. One means there's a fault code. So for this particular example, item number seven, eight, and nine, these three shocks are open. As you can see, one, one, and one and pretty much the rest are at zero. So what that means is three out of the four shocks are not connected for this example. Also, down here, we have can IDs. So there are faults here. The reason that these faults are here is because for this example, we happen to have this controller out of the car. So since it's not connected to the car and the ignition is not on, none of the computers and sensors are powering up. So therefore, that's why in this example is seeing these items as missing because it is not connected to the car and the car is not running. So if you were to have this connected in the car and the ignition is on or the engine is idling, all the CAN IDs should be zero because everything is running in the car. But if you still have three shocks disconnected, it will show that. So this is how you would read the codes on the, uh, using the DSC software. So if you happen to have three shocks open then the next logical step is to get out of the car and check the connections. They are either not plugged in or the connector is just not plugged in all the way, causing the circuit to be open. So um, one more thing that we can do is called a fault step. So down here, it shows these uh, clusters of numbers here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it shows the fault for the past six uh, key cycles, the last six key cycles. So that, that's the last six times the key was turned on or off. So it just so happened for this example, they are the same. But if you fix something, and that that wasn't that that had an open circuit before then obviously one of them is going to be different so to decipher a previous fault step this is what we would do we want to open the calculator function convert from standard to programming and enter the number so in this case all we have is 61888 so we'll enter 618 Eight, eight, and so, uh, so what we 
have once we enter these values is the bin, B-I-N. So we have these clusters of numbers. So let me move this over here. So uh, we're going to start counting these digits from the right to the left. Zero, again, means no fault. One means fault because this is binary. So we count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is where we have the fault code. So we refer to items seven, eight, and nine, which is consistent with what we're seeing here. So for that particular key cycles, these three shocks were unplugged. And also for that particular key cycle, or in this case, it was the number of times that it was read by using the software, it wasn't, we know that it wasn't connected to the car because it shows these last four items as false. So the can IDs were missing. So therefore, just from experience doing this, the last eight times that this controller was connected, they weren't actually key cycles. We just kept connecting it to play around with these values. And uh, that's how we came up with that in the last eight key cycles, the uh, fault steps were the same. So that's it. It's pretty simple. You have your main fault codes, and then you have the steps from the last eight key cycles. Or better phrase, the last eight times that this controller was powered up, be it the car or using your computer.